Conditional formulas will calculate data that meet certain conditions. Here we have a list of employee data. Let's say we wanted to determine the total of the salaries for employees located in Atlanta. We can use the sum if function to sum the salaries for employees only if they meet criteria that requires that the location be Atlanta. When we open the sum if function, we find three function arguments that need to be entered. The range, the criteria, and the sum range. The range is the range of cells where we might find whether the employee has met our criteria. This will be the location column since that's how we would know whether each employee is located in Atlanta. The criteria argument is the actual criteria that we're searching for. In this case, it would be the word Atlanta. The final argument is the sum range, the actual cells that we want to add up. We're summing the salaries for Atlanta employees, so I'll use the salary column as my sum range. When we're creating formulas that will only need to be housed in a single cell, we don't need to think about absolute cell references as much. As long as the formula works, we're good to go. However, we do plan to copy this formula to other cities. When I copy, I see that Kansas City and Houston both show the same value, and this doesn't seem likely to me, so I'm going to check the formulas. Looking at the Kansas City formula, I do see a problem. First, the range and the sum range have moved down a cell. These were relative cell references, so they followed me down as I copied the formula down. These should be absolute cell references instead. My criteria is also incorrect, showing the city of Atlanta still. Instead of typing the text, I'm going to use a cell reference to the word Atlanta. Now that I've fixed my original formula, copying works correctly. The average if function works exactly the same way, except the result will show the average salaries of the employees in Atlanta. The COUNTIF function also works the same way, except we don't need a sum range or an average range, as the formula will simply count how many locations are listed in Atlanta. When you have multiple criteria and want to create a sum if, average if, or count if formula, you need to switch over to the ifs version. Let's look at how a sum ifs function would work. In this example, we'll calculate the total for employees if their location is Atlanta and if their pay grade is 2. One very important thing to note is that the function arguments have changed order. Before, we started with our criteria. With the sum ifs, we will begin with the salary data as our sum range. Next, we move into our criteria. First, we'll add the location criteria.
Then we will add criteria for the pay grade. The criteria range will be data from the pay grade column. And the criteria will be the number 2, as we're looking for employees with a pay grade of 2. This is the same for all of the cities, so typing the number is appropriate this time. When completing conditional formulas, be careful that you're choosing the correct function. First, think about what action you're performing. Will you be counting or summing, for example? Then, think about the number of criteria. If you only have one, use the IF version of the function. When there's more than one criteria, make sure that you're using the IFS version with the S at the end of the function name and pay close attention to the order of your arguments.